I am so excited for camp, I can't even explain it. I know how much we love the pack with me for camp video and I'm not quite ready to pack for camp yet but I thought I would share some of my camp essentials. I am a four-year summer camp veteran at a camp in Fremont, Nebraska and this summer I'm actually super excited to announce that I am headed back as a camp counselor. I am literally so excited. This has seriously been my dream since I first started going to camp and I can't believe I get to pay it forward as a camp counselor this summer. Since I am not an adult yet in my state, I will just be working as a counselor in training. So I'll be at the camp for two weeks. I'll go for four days and then I'll go for another four to six days. And I'm just super excited to work with all the kiddos and just spend time in nature and have some time away. And of course, I do go to a Christian camp, so I get to teach kiddos all about Jesus. My first week at camp actually isn't until June, so be prepared for another packing video. But until then, I'm gonna go over some must-haves that you should really consider bringing for camp if you've never gone before or to see what I'm bringing. If you have any questions at all for me about camp, what to bring, what to expect, definitely let me know in the comments and I might make more videos in the future. I definitely recommend bringing some sort of a fitted sheet, especially if it's an overnight camp, you do not know what lies within those beds. Just a fitted sheet will suffice your bed needs, but if you do have some sort of like foam mattress topper, or even like a mattress protector, I would also consider bringing that. You probably don't need to go out and buy one, but if you already have it, it might be a good idea. Most beds at camps aren't super comfortable, and if you're staying for a week or even longer, you'll probably want to have a comfortable bed to sleep on. Even if you're going to a summer camp and it's probably gonna be sunny and hot, I would definitely recommend bringing some sort of sweatshirt. This is one of my favorites. It's just a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt, it's gray. Any sweatshirt, especially for chilly mornings or rainy days, is definitely nice to have when you need it. And then you can just throw it on and off all day long or tie it around your waist whatever you need to do going along with that a nice pair of thick sweatpants are always good to have especially if you're gonna be hiking rolling around in the dirt that way you can protect your legs from bug bites and scrapes and scratches and again if it's chilly or rainy it might be nice to cover up in the times of COVID-19 most of us are still probably needing masks at least for the time being if you are gonna be needing masks I definitely either recommend the ones with adjustable ears. They just stay on your face way better. And then that way you don't have to worry about it breaking or falling off or slipping down your nose when you're busy doing activities and all that fun stuff. Or the lightweight disposable ones. I know they're not the best for the environment. Don't litter them obviously, but they are a lot more lightweight and breathable. Another great thing to have is a backpack, just any backpack. It's nice to be able to keep your things with you as you're moving from activity to activity. You could also use a cinch sack so you can just keep all of your stuff on you and not have to worry about running back and forth between the cabin and everything else. I would definitely recommend having some sort of comfortable walking shoes, some old ones that you're okay with getting dirty, but you'll definitely be doing a lot of walking and maybe even some hiking, so you'll definitely want some comfortable shoes, preferably closed-toed and ones that tie. Then you'll also want to consider having some waterproof shoes, maybe some rain boots if it's gonna be muddy and rainy, also probably some shoes for the pool or shower. I just got these sandals from Target this year and they are pretty waterproof and I know sandals like these are really popular especially with campers and camp counselors. These are actually only $25 from Target. They are similar to Chaco's, but they are not the price of Chaco's, which is really nice. I can actually link these in the description for you guys if you are interested. Keeping your skin protected is obviously really, really important. So you'll wanna make sure you have some sort of sunscreen. 
I make sure to keep just the heavy duty one on me, 50 SPF, so that way you don't have to keep reapplying. This usually keeps me covered and keeps me good because nobody likes to deal with sunburns at camp. That's just not fun. But I definitely recommend having some sort of face sunscreen just because your face is out in the sun all day long and you need sunscreen. You need to keep your face protected so you're not old and wrinkly by the time you're 30. Going along with skin, this seems like a no-brainer, but seriously, do not forget bug spray. Bugs are gross. Need I say more? I know you don't want mosquito bites, and usually activities that go late at night, the bugs are out and having a party, so bug spray, bug spray, bug spray. Also, I know some camps have hammocks outside for you to sleep in. My camp does. If you're going to do that, you need bug spray, you need one of those bug clips that like is a atmosphere around you, like you need so much protection, the bug will eat you alive if you don't. Next, I recommend having some sort of water bottle with a lid on it. It's also a thermal water bottle, so it keeps things nice and cold all day long. If you're gonna be outside running around, you'll definitely want to keep water on you at all times. Next, sunglasses are sometimes just nice to have. They might seem a little bit extra, but again, when you're outside all day long, you'll be really thankful that you have them when you do. Somehow, my camp hair always gets absolutely disgusting, nasty, and gross, which is why you'll need a detangling brush. This is my Moana wet brush, and I love it so much. It gets out all my tangles, so definitely recommend some sort of brush that you know will get out your nasty camp hair that has campfire smoke in it and chlorine and dirt and all the things. You'll just want a nice brush, I promise. I don't want to dig to get it out right now, but bringing my friendship bracelet string last year was one of the best decisions I can make. People love making friendship bracelets. If you're bored and need something to do, it's just so much fun. I literally made like seven bracelets last year. Then of course, I recommend bringing a disposable camera or even like a Polaroid camera, just some sort of camera other than the one on your phone because I know a lot of camps don't allow you to have your phones with you. So that way you can have all the memories without having to use technology which can sometimes be a pain. It's all the way downstairs so I don't want to go get it. No brainer again here rain jacket and umbrella just in case if it's raining. I hate being outside in the rain or even a poncho too. If you're fine with it then maybe you're good with just like a hoodie or something. That's all I have for camp essentials. If I forgot anything, I'll make sure to add it to the description. If you have any suggestions for campers, make sure to leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.